this oh great <laughs> is um, it is written or not? Hi dear viewers, today I'm joining a conversation with author Sanja Mark, the author of Susanna Gold and a secret dragon from the other head. It's a pleasure to have Sanja on the show. Welcome on the show, Sanja. Thank you, Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> yeah, it's a pleasure to finally have you, you know, to speak with you concerning your book here today. Thank you. Yeah, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah. So, Sanja, please tell us about your book, Susanna Gold and a Secret Dragon from the Other Earth. How does this book come about? I mean, yes. what inspired the book? Well, um, uh, it's a funny story. I, um, it's about a dragon, you know, if <laughs> it's in that line. So, okay. um, my, I have kids and they always ask me to tell them a story before uh, you know bedtime story and mm -hmm. they don't want me to read them but to invent something you know from my imagination and we have this um, conduit in my house that is uh, it was planned for a fireplace but we never built it and we usually have uh, sparrows falling down and because it's very tall they cannot get out and uh, then I came with the idea what if a dragon falls in and from that starts the whole story and um, and I, I like it very much and it's funny and it's for um, what I try to emphasize because uh, through growing up kids uh, find difficulties to you know fit in uh, find themselves growing up and uh, um, self esteem uh, especially mm -hmm. I think these days when you have lots of influence from the internet and so That's so true. I try to uh, emphasize that and how to deal with those problems. Uh, 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 in, inside the book and broken friendships and how to start new ones but I, I, I try to make it all funny for the kids you know and um, also educational but funny and uh, with the lots of adventures and inside so I think it, it could be interesting yeah that's actually for fun stages, fun. <laughs> stages. <laughs> absolutely that sounds fun and it's quite amazing to know your source of inspiration and how the book come about and more specifically to know that it's meant for some certain age range. I was going to ask if it's a fantasy novel. It's a fantasy novel, right? Yes. Oh. Yes. Uh, it, uh, yes, it, it has uh, uh, interesting creatures. Some are uh, scary, some are less scary. Uh, magical uh, scenery and magical things they do. Oh. Um, of course, they travel to uh, solve some problems and that together they realize that, that they can do it better as a team you know i emphasize on, on that to to mm -hmm. ask help that it's not there's nothing bad to not to know something you know it, it's mm -hmm. important to learn and to evolve and develop through through learning with friends and everything so that's that's the whole idea <laughs> That's great. That's quite fascinating. Now, I want to ask you, for readers like me who haven't read the book yet, without giving much information away, could we have a sneak of what we would expect picking up the book? Tell you, you know, uh, it came all from having kids. And then oh. you, you, you deal with all these challenges and a conversation between them and uh, between friends and how uh, sometimes uh, kids do things because they don't know how to respond to some emotions mm -hmm. and that's basically the the uh, the idea mm -hmm. but of course you have here that the she is able to communicate with the reptiles and that she didn't know why she had some allergies mm -hmm. um they thought they were connected with food and they assumed they were allergies but they are not because uh, and she uh, understood that she was different. She perceived uh, uh, the world, the, the things around her, the, the, the learning differently. Mm. Uh, but she adopted, you know, because people didn't see it the way she did. There are four elements, you know, the water, the air, the fire, and you, uh, I tried the earth. And then that is uh, what I wanted to accomplish in this book, that there are four words that make balance and mm. they try to uh, keep the balance so basically 
the earth where we live, it's not the earth, it's the water land. So this is where the old confusion starts. And so I don't know if you if you could follow. I've Absolutely. been jumping. Absolutely. Okay. That's great. Now, I also want to ask you, ask authors, you know, we all have different ways of reacting to feedbacks. And I'm curious to know your opinion about criticism. How do you react to negative criticism of your book? Uh, I find them constructive, you know, uh, uh, because uh, I, if, I, I, if I see something that someone writes badly about my each of my books, doesn't matter which one, uh, mm. I try to find the truth maybe because maybe I did something wrong. For example, if I choose the keywords wrongly, if I put the wrong genre, people will pick up the book and assume it will be that. And it's not that, it's completely different. Then at the beginning, mm. you know, they will, they will be, they will be a start for a bad review, right? Because they didn't get what they, yeah, to, uh, disappointed. Yes. So uh, uh, that's the first thing. So uh, maybe I, maybe my words were confusing for children or something. You know, I try to find, everything to evolve and make my uh, each new book better. Mm. That's how I approach it. But uh, there are also people maybe who just want to say something bad. And if I see that, then I don't want to bother with that. I don't want that to make me feel bad and question what I do. Because I try to find a pool of writers that, that write, like my books and they find them uh, interesting and that mm. uh, they can learn something from them and so there will always be people who don't like something that you do <laughs> because someone doesn't like I wear you know what I eat food so it's yeah. okay it's okay that they say they don't like it but it's the way they say it. that can be a problem mm. right you know that I assume as a writer probably you got to <laughs> yeah some maybe not. I'm just saying you know <laughs> absolutely so, I don't I, think that you should uh feel sad about it a lot, you know, yeah. have to accept it and move on. That's how it is. That's great. It's quite fun to know your own idea of how you react to negative criticism. I think it's something that all authors should embrace. Now, Sanja, are you currently working on another book? If yes, can you tell us about it? If uh, working on a couple of projects because it's easier for me, you know, sometimes you, I get an, an idea for something. And so I'm working on a sequel for Susanna and I'm working on two small, uh, yes, small novels for also for kids. Uh, one is about a dog and one is spooky, you know. Uh, so uh, Susanna, I hope it will be done till the end of the next year. And these two, I think in the mid middle, middle of the next year and i'm looking forward to it i hope it they will be great then people will like them wow that's quite fascinating now i'm also curious to know if you ever experienced any challenges while writing your book if there's any could you tell us <laughs> what challenge it is and how you ultimately overcame it I, the biggest challenge for me was to yeah. write it in english because it's not my language native language you know oh. so I, I, wrote, I write them all on english from the beginning i don't translate them i use some programs to help me but then i edited and then i have a language uh, translator and that's the first challenge so oh. but with time you you know start to learn how to do it better and so i overcame that challenge but i think the biggest challenge is to write the book that you know, has sentence in it that has a beginning, the middle, and the end, and that everything is connected for me. But um, then, uh, when I wrote it, then I realized what is challenge to publish it, <laughs> and uh, I chose to go <laughs> on Amazon because uh, I, I thought that it would be the best way to put it out there to more people Absolutely. to read it to be visible. And then I, I used some help from people and learned uh, how to do it. And now I'm doing it by myself. Mm. So each challenge I said, I tried to overcome it and, uh, mm. you know, find some, learn something from it and develop. So um, this challenge was to find people uh, wh whom to trust. You know, I, I don't, I don't, um, I didn't come from this. I, I didn't study literature or something. This mm. just came to me. Mm. Uh, with my kids, then I realized I want to imagine, create stories, write stories, you know. So with kids came this change. Yeah. And uh, 
I had to gather people who would follow my idea, understand me, and uh, that was a challenge. And to find illustrators for my ideas, mm -hmm. uh, because I have a certain idea how I want to do it, something. So that that are my challenges, but they don't need to discourage you, you know. <laughs> they are there to help you, to you achieve something better. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, since since you mentioned that English is a first language, I'm curious to know which is your first language. Do you have a first uh, language? Creation. 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 I, you want me to say something in Croatian? <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun. I'm I'm just kind of curious to ask if you you will you will you will produce a version in your first language. You said Croatian. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Probably you love yes. to produce, like make a version in your own first language. If you're working on something like that, do you do you have plans to do that? Oh, I I have plans to translate books in more languages. I, I translated some uh, on in German on German, and I'm doing uh, this uh, picture books because I I write I started with picture books, oh. and then came the idea for this novel. Yes, and um, I'm now working on a translation of a Christmas book. Um uh, and uh, so it's challenging, but I like it. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't start uh, the Russian because I think there are difficulties because of their um, uh, alphabet. Alphabet. Yes. <laughs> the yes. Alphabet is so, yeah. Yeah. But we. Really, I. I learned it in school for oh, uh, Serbian. Yeah. yeah. So, but okay, it's not the same. Uh, but uh, language, but that the alphabet it is. So, it's challenging. <laughs> <laughs> Very challenging. I, yeah. I remember a time I was I was learning it coupled together with Ukrainian language, and it's quite a very you know. Add to grabs. Now, I also want yes. to ask you: Could you tell us what publishing is like for a published author like yourself? What are the challenges you've encountered in terms of marketing your book, and what are the mediums you've utilized so far to promote your book? Uh, the, as I said, I, I uh, started to do it by myself, and it was really uh, challenging to understand how it works and and uh, the keywords and everything to to Absolutely. to grasp all that but uh, when you overcome that it, it becomes fun to do it and see you know what can I do better and how to do it better so for the publishing yes I, I started to really like it and enjoy it very much mm -hmm. and uh, and as for the media I usually I for now use social media and and I um, uh, use uh, Amazon for the ads and I tried with paper and US but I through some um, people who do that but I stopped with that so I'm, this is and YouTube this is what I do <laughs> and how I try to uh, show I exist in my books <laughs> oh that's great could you show us a picture of the book again? Like bring it up and show it to the camera. Fantastic. And I even love the cover design. It's quite beautiful. Yeah, I liked it. Um, I like it very much, yeah. That's what I said. I, You know, when I figure something, I just want to get that. Mm. That, that, that was really challenging for me for this Christmas book because uh, not many people done it. Done us, done us today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> paint in such a way, and uh, but I made it. I find this lady who does. Uh, That's great. Now, I also want to ask color. you: Is there anything mm -hmm. that you'd love the you know, to share with the viewers about your book that we couldn't mention in this interview, and you just love the viewers to know about this book or all books that I because. For me, uh, I, the idea of each book is to make it fun, to 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 you know, to, because it's for the kids, you know. Yeah, yeah to 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 uh, uh, teach them and to learn to love the, the reading because mm. it should be fun, and uh, that's and that's my motto, and that's why I add uh, to my books. The, uh, okay, not this one, but I made the map so that they can track, you know, where they went and mm. where they travel and what they discovered so you know to get them involved for the picture books for example i have uh, crafts and coloring and uh, answering questions you mm. know to, to get them involved in the book and i think that that sticks better than just you know read it and put it on, on a shelf 
I'm so motto is make reading fun. <laughs> My so in each book that that that's, that's a great that. one. That, that's actually a great one. I also want to ask you as a published author, what sort of advice do you have for other writers who are still struggling with publishing a book? What would you tell people in this category? Well, I would say not to give up if you really like it, you know, yeah. It's challenging, it can, it can be like uh, overwhelming and you can be sad because it's not happening the way you want it to happen. Uh, but I think that um, usually it, the good things, it takes time, you know, if, if you're not, if, if people if people don't know you, uh, it takes time to gather that pool of readers to find them. But in the end, I think it's, Mm, great to see that people are buying it and reading it and leaving great reviews you know mm. it's a confirmation of your work absolutely yeah so don't, just don't give up and keep on trying educate yourself learn on new stuff absolutely it's, everything is changing you know progressing yeah. you know yeah thank you so much for your advice and i'm hoping that viewers including myself would love to utilize it now, I also want to ask you, where can we get a copy of your book? And do you have every, any other book apart from Susanna that you've written? Where can we get a copy of your book? Uh, they're all on Amazon. Um, oh. and they're, yes, they're all on Amazon. I only uh, publish there. And they oh. come in, uh, um, you know, paper and um, e-books as e-books. E -books. Yes. Well, that's great. And I left a link in the description part of this interview for viewers who would love to get a copy directly on Amazon. Thank you so much, Sandra, Thank you. for accepting <laughs> the invitation to be featured on P English Literature. It's a pleasure having you on the show. It was a pleasure talking to you. And I love your books. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Yes. They're very lovely. I, and I hope this will help you to, to get more readers also because you're... Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate that.